Hallelujah. Glory be to the most I God. Father, I thank you. I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your divine healing. And I thank you for your nature. I cannot live or do without you. You're worthy of all praise. You're my father. You are my king. Father, I come before you and I said, Father, forgive me. Father, we are born again. Born of the spirit, born of the water, and born of the blood. Born again doesn't mean that you don't um you're not smart anymore. Or you don't even get mad anymore. You said angry and sin not. Not said you don't tell lie. But it's not something that you practice. We are in training. We are training for the new kingdom. And we have to use wisdom at all time. Not said you're supposed to give away everything you have. And left yourself with nothing. Because you know Satan is always will come and try to come and take everything you have. And some people don't understand. They think that being in the body or being born again, you give away everything. The Christ didn't feed everyone. He didn't give away everything. He didn't heal everyone he see. No. Sometimes he even hide away. Sometimes he get invited to places. He doesn't go. Not because somebody invites you somewhere. And because... You're a man of God or a woman of God. You're going to go? If the Holy Spirit don't tell you to go, you cannot go. He will tell you what to do. Who to give and who not to give. Who to heal and who not to heal. Who to trust and who not to trust. Hallelujah. So, born again doesn't mean that you're soft. Born again mean that you're militant, you're military, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that you have to be serious like a judge. You have to have a little drove all inside of you. Yeah. Because they do have some people who's born again. And they're so serious. You don't even know if they're kind. They sound so mean. You can't even find or hear kindness in their heart. They don't have any time for you. We all have to study, but we all have to socialize with people. The Christ went and have dinner with even sinners. He what you go to party? Remember that party when there was no wine? And you turned the water into wine? 
Ernest Gass said? It was his guess. It was his guess. It was his guess. And his guest said that he saved the best wine for last. So, we can entertain people. We can have party. We can have fun. But don't overdo it. That's what, that's what he's trying to say to us. Don't overdo it. Do things with understanding. Reason things out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we are sensible people. We are people with sense. We are people with wisdom. We are people with reasoning. And have understanding. Yes. He said my people are destroyed because of lack of understanding. And the world can't look at you and think you're a fool. Look at King David. Look at Solomon. Look at Daniel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at Isaac. Look at all those men. They didn't look at them as a fool. Or foolish whatever you call it but these days Christian they look at Christian so silly like this young lady she was dating a young man and they got married she was a Christian but obviously she married somebody who wasn't a Christian. And he was beating her badly. And a policeman answered a call. And saw how beaten or badly she was beaten. But with domestic affair, one time back in those days, you can do nothing if the woman don't press charge on the husband. And the detective looked at the woman and knew that one day she was going to die. But they said, you know what they said about her? That she was a good Christian. She was a devoted woman that go to church. And she feel like she could have changed her husband. And he end up one night beating her. And beat her to death. Kill her. Not because. You are a Christian. And you're in a relationship. And you realize that you didn't listen to the father. And find yourself into a relationship. That you shouldn't have been. In the first place. As he said. We have to know them by love. We gotta use wisdom. We gotta ask for the understanding. We gotta ask for the answer from the Father before we go ahead and do anything. Sometimes it's best you be by yourself. Not by yourself, but let the Father be your key life and your key witnesses. You have to be a witness. Let him be your pillow. Let him be the solution to your life and your problem and your situation. And everything that you need, every encouragement that you need, every answer that you need, you need to go to Him. What the Father is trying to say, pray and ask me for wisdom. Pray and ask me for understanding and I will give you the knowledge and the wisdom and the power that you need to make decision. To make wise moves. 
to put things into perspective. That's everything that you do. I am in there. That you don't have to end up with people around you that don't care. Go again. There we go again with that. So it want us to use wisdom. He want us to have self-control. Because if you don't have self-control and you can't use the wisdom that the Father has given us, you're going to end up in a relationship and end up have people around you that you really don't want around you because of desperation because of loneliness because you think if you do that you make money if you put yourself into a, a group you will get the links to what you need in life when you realize that you end up be a part of Satan kingdom. You cannot let Satan be your portion. Father wanna bless you. He wanna bless you with everything that he wanna give you. Where do you want your blessing to come from? Do you want your blessing to come from heaven? The Father wants to bless you with his wisdom, with his knowledge, with his understanding, and with his power. He wants to give you the authority to trample up an all scorpion, all serpent, and give you wisdom. To make wise choice. Father. Help me to be a wise. Born again. If I'm born again. Let me be. Different. In the world. But set apart from the world. But not of this world. But a part of the kingdom. And know. That. I am separate. And I'm different because you are part of my life. Father, I'm asking you to put an angel on my right, an angel on my left, an angel before me, angel behind me, an angel that hover over the heart. Father, I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your divine healing. And I thank you for your nature. I cannot live or do without you. You're worthy of all praise. You're my father. You're my king. You are my everything. In you, I put my trust. Thank you for your kindness. Hallelujah. The power of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen.